how to convert Shopify website into WordPress website. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be telling you how you can convert your Shopify store into your WordPress store. So let's get into it. Now, before I begin, I just want to give you guys a disclaimer is that you can't actually move the website from one website to another. You can migrate something, but it's called migration. It's not conversion. What it means is you can migrate most of your data from one website to another. So for example, products, themes, uh, color palette and stuff like that, or maybe even pages, depending upon what type of website you're using. You can migrate all of those stuff from one platform to another, but you can't actually move a website from one place to another. You can redirect URLs, but that's a different story. But anyway, let's get into it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can, well, move some of your stuff from one website to another, let's say from Shopify to WordPress. And I'm going to be telling you the easiest way and the easiest method that I've found, right? So the easiest method is to install a plugin. So come over here onto your WordPress dashboard, go into your plugin section and click on add new plugin, right? And also before you do that, make sure that all of your stuff, that all of the details on your website is correct. For example, the products, if you come over here in the product section, I already have a bunch of products added. Make sure all the products are selected everything looks good there you go you can see right here everything is okay the theme itself the website everything looks good make sure to check all of those stuff and once everything is ready you should be good to go so having said that let's get into it so go back to wordpress go into plugins and click on add new plugin it's going to take you over to the plugin store and the plugin that you are going to be searching for is called wp shopify and this is the plugin right here. You can see right here, it says you basically display products from your Shopify store onto your WordPress blog using short codes. You can do it with that, or you can go with uh, S2W, which imports Shopify to WooCommerce. It will easily migrate all of your Shopify products to there and their collections into the WooCommerce after the several clicks. So keep that in mind. Now, as I said before, you can't actually move the website. You can only move certain stuff. For example, if you were to move your WordPress website to Shopify, it won't work either. It will only uh, move certain amounts of data, like products, depending on what type of products you have or posts and stuff like that. If it was a totally different website, like for example, from WordPress website onto, let's say Wix or from Wix to WordPress or GoDaddy or anything like that, that is a totally different story. But since Shopify is not basically a website tool, it's more of an e-commerce platform. That's why it does not work. Normal means won't do it. The only best solution that you would actually get or which would ever come close to transferring or converting a website is just installing one of these plugins and basically displaying and moving some of the posts or products that you have on your website and displaying it onto uh, WordPress. So let's go ahead and install this plugin. So first we're gonna do this one. We're gonna click on install, install it and activate it, right? Make sure everything is ready over here on the Shopify store side. And once you've done that, just simply come over here and activate it as well. I believe it's already activated. We did that. You can see right here, WP Shopify, and it should appear right here. Let me reload it. If not, we can go ahead and go into the settings. If it doesn't appear over here, just simply click on settings and you can see it right here underneath settings. You've got WP Shopify. So here you go. You got to connect and sync them, right? You've got configuration over here. This is a short code. All right, currently it's disconnected. So API key, enter your Shopify private API key in the below section over here, all right? And API password, shared secret, storefront access token, and domain over here. So let's go ahead and get these uh, information, get the passwords and tokens and stuff like that. So to add the API and add that app, what you need to do is come over here into the settings section. So right here, click on settings, then go into apps and sale channels right? Click on develop apps and create an app, right? It might ask you to allow it, just allow it and then create it. So here I'm going to call it WP Shopify and click on create app. You can even select the app developer. That's fine. Click on create app. There we go. So now we have the application over here. Uh, we can see the configurations, the API credentials, API settings, access store data with the, the admin API and everything got your user and an app created and everything next what you want to do is you want to click on configure api admin permission so here you want to go ahead and read and write or give it permissions to certain applications if you want only totally depends on you 
go ahead and select whatever option you want you can see right here uh write discounts read write discounts whatever you want right so give it permission to whatever option you think it should have and once you've done that just go ahead and save it so i'm just simply gonna do everything over here give it permission to basically everything i don't know if that's safe or not but this is just an example so why not so like that quite a lot so i'm gonna pause the video and catch you guys in a sec and then the save button like that configurations are now saved next what you want to do is go back to configuration center or actually go back to overview and next uh click on admin api integration which I, we've already done that so i think that should be good to go let me just go ahead and do that real quick and then you can install your access token over here to click on install app click on install and there you go it is now installed and this is going to be your api admin access token over here this is going to be your api secret key and api secret key over here right so these are two different ones so you can go ahead and copy it and paste it over there so now let's go ahead and do that so give it once to protect your data just copy this and paste it over here so api key this is the admin api access this is the api key right here so we'll copy the api key paste that there and then copy the secret key which is going to be the password paste that there and once you've filled everything out i couldn't find the shared secret i don't know why but i think they might have updated it and i just couldn't find it uh for some reason maybe if i click over here it says disconnected but i don't know where this shared secret thing is i tried to find it but i just couldn't like for example if i go into settings apps and sales channels right develop apps this is the app that i created go into api credentials so we've got our access token right here storefront access token right here and this is the api and secret key that's it this is the secret key maybe this is the shared password let me try that and okay i did that and i believe might have added the wrong one go to application and api credentials see it anyway and okay so we did come over here so it is working uh it is connected setting is saved but it's still saying disconnected because i opened up the link and it worked like it came over here but i'm not sure about this one though i think they updated it but for me it didn't update i think that's the problem over here because here shopify it, one of the, the key well, this is one of the problems with shopify is to keep updating it, their stuff and it's just hard to keep track of like for example the secret it should be right here so this is the api and secret key this is the password right this is the storefront access code and this is the admin access code there is no shared secrets so that's i believe that, that should be over here in the uh, client credentials or managed credentials at least that's what the help said or the help section said but when i go into the managed credential it just pops me back back over here but it should be right here but uh let me try something the other plugins i don't want to use because they're for woocommerce and i haven't tried these ones yet these are all for woocommerce as well so i don't want to try this okay so this time i'm going to try another plugin it is going to be shop wp so we're going to use this one because the other one didn't work so here we go we have connect button over here so we're going to click on begin the connection process this one i have i believe it's much more reliable so let's go ahead and test that out so i'm going to open up my store in another tab real quick and copy the uh url come back over here paste it click on connect your domain end with dot com please do not include okay so we're gonna get rid of that now we're gonna click over here there we go remove the slash at the end as well otherwise it won't detect it there we go connecting to that store they it opened up over here click on install the application automatically it may not work as expected as the developer updates it so again this is one of the things either the developer doesn't update it or well shopify you know update it so there you go you're connected to the shop and now you're good to go after that you can you are connected after that you can go ahead and select the products the list you want connect to the next step and this is what we should have done in the beginning instead of that other app but yeah there you go after that you can just go ahead and go with other product settings and then click on continue and then select the product links shopify and you can either 
product link opens a new tab or can tab whatever you want and then click on next step and basically load the cart and finish it up and there you go you're good to go after that uh you're now connected to your shopify store and it was as simple as that i should have begun with this one i don't know why i didn't but yeah after that you can go ahead and sync the products and licenses and extensions and you should be good to go so there you go this is how you connect your or convert your shopify store into your wordpress store so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye